When liquid is being passed through the trap, the disc is pushed out of the way of the flow path, allowing free discharge of condensate. However, when steam or air enters the trap, the velocity of the flow increases and the disc is pulled toward the seat. When the steam which is keeping the disc closed condenses, the trap opens and the cycle repeats itself. For demonstration purposes, we have fitted a thermodynamic steam trap in our test rig to show its discharge characteristics. We have also fitted a magnetic liquid level indicator to show the level of condensate in front of the steam trap. Please note the operation when the condensate is completely purged from the line. The cycling action of the TD trap results in drainage of the condensate in the steam line. However, the violent blast discharge results in large amounts of steam being lost during each cycle as high velocity steam flow is necessary to end the discharge cycle and close the trap. Many manufacturers of thermodynamic steam traps claim that flashing condensate is responsible for ending the discharge cycle and closing the trap. However, as this flow test on boiler blowdown demonstrates, the TD trap will not close in the presence of saturated condensate. Only steam flow through the trap will end the discharge cycle and close the trap. This trap uses a bucket, open on the bottom, to operate a lever valve and orifice located in the top of the trap. In the absence of steam, the bucket sinks to the bottom, keeping the valve in the open position and allowing for free discharge of condensate. When steam or air enters the trap, the bucket becomes buoyant and floats to the top closing the valve. When this steam condenses, the bucket sinks to the bottom, opening the lever valve and discharging the condensate again. For demonstration purposes, we have fitted an inverted bucket steam trap in our test rig to show its discharge characteristics. We have also fitted a magnetic liquid level indicator to show the level of condensate in front of the steam trap. Please note the operation when the condensate is completely purged from the line. The Valan steam trap offers an efficient alternative to conventional steam trap designs. Operating on a thermostatic principle, the Valan steam trap requires no more energy to function than is present in the condensate that collects at the drain point. At ambient temperatures, the bimetal element is relaxed and the valve is open wide, allowing for rapid discharge of cold condensate and non-condensable gases at startup. As the temperature of the condensate increases, the bimetal element pulls the valve closed. In the presence of live steam, the valve remains closed tightly. When condensate in the line cools slightly, the line pressure overcomes the closing force of the bimetals and condensate discharge resumes. In the event of a sudden drop in upstream pressure, 
the valve and seat arrangement acts as a check valve, preventing reverse flow in the system. For demonstration purposes, we have fitted a Valan thermostatic steam trap in our test rig to show its discharge characteristics. We have also fitted a magnetic liquid level indicator to show the level of condensate in front of the steam trap. Please note the operation when the condensate is completely purged from the line. The Valan steam trap provides rapid, efficient startup of steam drip leg and tracing system. Due to the advanced design of the bimetallic element, the Valan steam trap maintains no more than 18 inches of condensate ahead of the trap at any time, ensuring efficient drainage and preventing the loss of live steam. Compare the discharge of the Valan steam trap with the thermodynamic disc trap below. The Valan steam trap will save over $1,000 annually over that of a thermodynamic disc trap.